we're going to show you the inside of the 2995. This is a upgrade of the power supply, as you can see. We're going to show you it's how to do it, but you got to understand when you do this stuff, you got to make sure you do it right. You can subscribe us, subscribe to my videos, watch my videos. Uh, we're going to get into detail right in here, okay? Um, basically, so what we did is we put the the four peel amp board in here, um, as you see my other videos. But when you do this, you got to be very, very carefully doing it right, okay? As you see, we put 10 gauge in here, okay? You can't use the uh, the factory one. The reason is, if we want to look on this thing right in here, you see all the burnt spots in there. You see it? Let me get, let me get kind of. I don't know why it's so dull and everything like that. If you look on the dull, uh, if you look in here, real carefully, see how that burnt? You know, so each item is burnt. So when you key up on this thing. It gets extremely hot, okay? And I'll burn the wire. So you gotta make sure you change out the wire for 10 gauge. And you gotta have the choke on here, okay? The choke, what it does is it makes it, uh, um, you know, for RF don't travel through, okay? Now, when you put this back together, okay? It's very important. Let me show you, okay? All right? You might wanna take a picture of it, how you wanna do it. So, look. You got your um, positive side right here, your negative right here, and a capacitor. You see how this capacitor is right here on this side? You see how it's on this side? You make sure when you take a picture of it, all right, that everything's correct, uh, hooked up correctly, as you can see, okay? If you don't do this, then you have problems. And by the way, this is not for a novice, okay? You gotta know what you're doing. Um, you end up uh, hurting yourself or killing somebody else, okay? Um, this is a very, very difficult thing to do. Um, it's, uh, as you see, taking off this stuff, it takes time to do it, and you gotta do it right, correctly, okay? Because you could pinch the wire right over here and you end up burning up your radio. Now, if, if you don't know what you're doing, it's better off to take it to, uh, 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 to a technician it does out there um, like I, I've been doing this for quite some time so if you want to take it to me it's up to you I highly recommend it but uh, today we're just gonna show you how, um, uh, how to do things so basically so this is this is this has to go on back on it's to keep the RF from bleeding back into your radio oh okay and then when we get done um, and it It'll go back on there, but I just wanted to show you guys what it looks in there. By the way, I take a look at this radio, read it in, okay, see what it looks like. Now, this is the new power supply right here, all right. And I just got that in, like I had in another video. This is the old one, okay. Now, I I do make mistakes sometimes, because um, it's way life, <laughs> but. That's why you take pictures and make sure you do it right. There's not no manual, anything on, on how to put the stuff back together. You kind of have to know your um, uh, the power and all that kind of stuff. So if you don't know, leave it to the, us. We'll do it for you, okay? So if you want to order the RCI 2995, um, ask for the upgrade for the board. We'll, we'll gladly get you one board. That's not a problem. All right? <clears throat> Be prepared to be on a waiting list for a board because, you know, when you get a board, it's, it's coming from Ranger, okay? It's not coming from anywhere else. Uh, so, and then you have to be mothered in with Ranger. You can't just go and buy things like me. I can go to straight from the factory, get what I want. That's it. So, you know, it's years and years and years of doing this stuff. And uh, and that's what I have. I mean, I if you, and you think you can just go up there and buy it, feel free to try it. You're not gonna get very far. You're gonna have to come to me and buy one, but you know, I don't think I want to sell it to nobody out there because of fact, if I sell it to somebody out there and then you mess up, then the blame's on me. So, you know, that's why I like to, if you want it, send your radio in. We're glad to install one in there for you. It's either we can install it in the 94s, the board right here, okay? Uh, 
uh, as you can see, um, you, you guys saw it earlier, which uh, I had it earlier. It's a two peel amp board, so the two peels go inside of here and everything. Uh, I'm trying to find out where I put it. So basically, oh, here it is. This is an old one, all right? That's the two peel amp section, okay? Then you have, uh, you gotta make sure these are on here. That's 470s and then you have your 330s on this side. Then you have your 330s hook up to here. And in the middle, you have your ground. Then over here, you would have, uh, there, uh, actually it's on the other side. Uh, yeah. Actually, I'll turn it around so you can see it a little bit better. Then you have your posit over here. Now this is the old board, one of the old boards. Uh, if people want to know what this is about, they used to be your uh, SWR bridge, okay? All right. So basically, yeah, um, just to uh, show you the inside of the route radio, we just completed it. We're going to be putting it back together. Um, I take my time doing stuff like this. So if you want something, be prepared to wait. I'm not a rushy person. I like, you know, I don't want to be burning up a thousand dollar radio uh, because a person wants to hurry up and I like getting texts every day. So, um, I, this kind of work I do, I like to do quality work. What you're getting from me is quality work. Okay. Um, there's a lot of people, when I make a video for people, I show the inside, what it looks like. Basically, it looks like this, what it's looking for. So we're all done up and everything like the YouTube subscribers um, and friends and everybody out there. Subscribe to my videos. We're glad to keep making them for you. All right. This is a how to install a new um, power supply plus add the amp board inside. And make sure, very critical, when you amp, put the amp board, you got to upgrade for 10 gauge. Don't put bigger than this. All right. If you put bigger than this, just remember. It'll suck too much power out of this, okay? <laughs> Trust me, I, I done it already, and I know. So 10 gauge is the minimum. And otherwise, it takes too much from the um, from this power supply. So then you got to have, yeah, so the, this is 36 amps, okay? All right, and you got to have enough amperage for the radio as well. So vice versa. Any questions, uh, uh, give us a click. We'll help you out. Um, you know, uh, comment on the, on my uh, videos. I appreciate it. This is, uh, we do really good work for my, my customers. Um, grasp it in. You want, you, you know, what I'm doing right here. So, you know, you don't see a lot of this, uh, out there. I mean, you see something. By the way, I did upgrade the, uh, um, to blue over here for my customer. I put blue on the side, okay. Put a few, uh, put a resistor on here. Put a blue on the, uh, put blue in, in into the meters. We upgraded that, so it gives a little bit better clear. LED is way to go. It's easier, and you know, and when you, when you look at it in the front, it's a lot clearer. I mean, you could you could put purple, you could put everything like that. You know, you could change this display to blue if you wanted to you could you know do a lot of things with the radio now this is like i said if you go inside here this is all surface mount okay very hard to work on okay not very easy to work on you have to have uh tweezers real small tweezers some uh and special like the special kind of glue almost like glue to hold this the sockets in if you want to go online, you could take a look at uh, what you can do for surface mount. If you ever want to go to become a technician, you know, you make you a surface mount. Try it. Try to see. It's a, it's a highly challenge to do, but it's a lot of fun. Um, it gives you a good practice of uh, uh, doing things. All right. You also have have uh, tools. There's a tool that you have to have too. It's like a seven thousand dollar machine. Or more uh, basically to work on this kind of equipment you know so all in all yeah we do know what we're doing when we do this kind of stuff I mean I get to a point where uh, the stopping point or I don't want to uh, you know 
work on this stuff like this because what happens when you work on this kind of stuff and you know, some people bring it in to work on this stuff, okay, if you have a broken radio like this and something broken, someone went in there, messed it up, it, it costs more money just to repair things and the, and the bills like that. So I'm not about taking your money. And that's why I wanna, when I'll be up front with you when we talk on the phone if you ever want something fixed like something broken in here and stuff. I'll repair your finals, do everything else, uh, reline the radio, uh, you know, if you need that done, we'll help you out. But I'm not going to get into something where it's going to cost more effective for you. Not about to steal your money for that. That's not, that's not what I um, like to do, you know. Any, any, more, any more of these days, you could buy a better, uh, cheaper radio. But, you know, different places is different folks. And some people want, they, they love their radios and everything. So, yeah. And that's something that keeps their center value. So, if you do want that kind of repair, we're glad to help you out with that. Um, um, like I said, uh, there'll be a, it, it's very expensive. You know, you're not looking like you're not looking like a uh, hundred dollars. You're looking over four hundred something dollars or more or higher than that. So, to work on this kind of equipment right here, all right. So. But if you're in the, your sentimental of your radio and you love your radio, you don't want to get rid of it, that's okay with you. I mean, I'm glad to get it, get it going and get it fixed for you, you know. All right. Um, have any questions anyways? I just thought I'd go over the uh, surface mount SMD on the, on the radios. Um, since, uh, since the time, they've been doing these kind of radios and everything like that and SND uh, radios and and for them it's a lot easier uh, but it's harder on the technicians to work on it so you know that's why the technicians uh, I just wanted to go over that's why the technicians charge higher rate to do it because it's not that easy uh, let me show you over here you see uh, on this board you see somebody will try to work on this board uh, let me get real close right here this is SMD okay uh, basically, let me get over here. You see this? Let me get right. You see this part right here? Somebody tried to put this together. There's a lot of places somebody tried to work on this um, thing. Gloves over here. Uh, on the SMD right over here. Gloves over there. They screwed up the board real bad. So basically, the board doesn't work anymore because they didn't know how to put it. And you no, know, and another thing, you see how they. They worked on this, uh, let me get real close uh, over here. They worked around in here. And the problem is, is they put this SMD, if they, if they install this, these uh, things backwards, it's not gonna work, okay? They're fitted to one way only, and one way only goes one way. <laughs> so, it could be a dial, could be something in there, you know what I mean? You gotta have a schematic and like I said, you got to know what you're doing. But I just wanted to give you a, uh, a tour of the radio with SMD in there. SMD. Uh, all right. Be prepared to pay a lot of money if you want this kind of uh, work to get done. All right. Um, I just got done um, helping a customer out. Basically, that radio was really, really bad. And we got that fixed for him. So, all right, guys. Uh. God bless you, and thank you guys for all you guys out there watching my videos. Um, we try really hard to show you what's going on. So, a lot of customer, a lot of other guys just work on Cobra radios. I work on all the other stuff, okay, and work on Cobras too. I I'm not a big fan of the uh, uh, like the uh, the 29s and stuff. If I'm gonna do a radio, I like to do. You know, I'm my competition is to. Yeah, that 10 meter readers I always has been doing 10 meters from time um from generation to time okay so all right guys um comment on the video we just uh, wanted to go and talk about it this is Jason for Joker Man Electronics this is a new video how to install the uh, um the uh, power supply and show you what the power supply looks like inside with the uh board with the SME SMD so oh by the way uh, I think I'm not kidding you see this stuff you got to have this stuff to work on there 
special like uh, 